Hey guys, Greg here, and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing a Destroy All Humans DNA Collector's Edition for Xbox One. And, and, and thirdly is uh, the Crypto 137 Collector's Edition for the Xbox One. Oh god, hold on, that's very heavy. Oh my god, okay, there we go. Yeah, looks good, right? It's not the biggest thing I've ever unboxed, but it's pretty big. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. This thing weighs like 30 pounds. Oh God. Destroy All Humans is a cult classic game that released on the original PS2 and OG Xbox back in 2005. With the 2020 remake out, THQ and Black Forest Games have released two unique collector's editions to celebrate this fan favorite getting a new coat of paint. First up, we have the smaller Destroy All Humans DNA Edition. Inside, you'll find of course the game, a digital code that grants you five unique crypto skins, a keychain, and a fun little stress toy. I love the way his eyes pop out. You also get six really nice art prints that portray areas, environments, and characters from Destroy All Humans. Of course, the big ticket item in Destroy All Humans DNA Collector's Edition is the 9-inch Crypto and Cow figurine statue. It comes in five separate pieces. The base, the floating cow, Crypto, and two of the jetpack blast smoke effects. The detail on these figures is pretty good. They are also made out of a softer plastic, so they have some durability to them which is always a plus in my book, in case someone or your cat knocks it over, or if you drop it. The paint job on Crypto looks particularly good for how small the piece is, and the jetpack effects look fantastic. Once all the pieces are in place, it's a really nice diorama. The ship also has a lot of detail, especially in the cockpit. Something interesting caught my eye though. On the box, it shows the cow's clear plastic mold as a glittery blue. Sort of like those sparkly jelly sandals kids used to wear. But on the final product, it's just straight clear. It's not a bad thing, I just find it interesting that the original mold was supposed to be a glittery blue instead of clear. The Destroy All Humans DNA Collector's Edition retails for $149.99 and is available at online retailers. Now next up, we have one of the largest collector's editions I've ever unboxed. While I have unboxed and reviewed a lot of stuff that's been bigger, this is for sure, without doubt, the most gigantic collector's edition I've ever unboxed. It was so big I just decided to unbox it on the floor, instead of my normal unboxing table. Actually, truth be told, I gave up trying to unbox it at my regular unboxing station and just did it on the floor. You know, I'm gonna do this on the floor in the room. Now this version is called the Crypto 137 edition and comes with most of the same stuff as the DNA collector's edition, like the game, skins, fine art prints, keychain, and stress toy. However, it doesn't come with the nine inch cow encrypted figurine. Instead, it comes with two other things. The first is a funny backpack version of Crypto. The color patterns on him look good, and his face has a great amount of detail as well. While some of his outfit is printed on the fabric itself, some parts of his armor are actually sewn on separately, like his gloves and boots. Now to be fair, it is a bit of a stretch calling it a backpack. The area that holds things is incredibly small. It might be able to hold your cell phone and wallet, and that's about it. It's really more an apparel piece to showcase your fandom in a semi-practical way. 
Now the centerpiece of this collector's edition is the huge, and I mean huge, crypto statue that stands around 24 inches tall. That's two feet tall, people. Here I am in frame for reference, of course blocking the lights. The statue is simply gorgeous, and has the same amount of detail you'd expect to see at a convention floor in a professional booth. The paint looks fantastic, and the suit is covered in these little concave divots, giving a great look of texture and depth to the piece. The paint is also done extremely well on every part of his body, the suit, weapon, and head. Crypto's skin is a matte paint, and his suit has a glossy, shiny look to it, giving it some awesome contrast. The head of the statue is equally impressive in detail. Crypto's eyes are encased in a clear barrier, and behind that, the dark red eyeball. It gives a sense of 3D depth to the piece, much like his translucent brain as well. The planet globe Crypto has can be opened, Inside, I found the keychain and the stress toy, but what's really cool is you can use it as a drink holder. That's super clever. It's an absolutely fantastic piece, and the details are even more impressive considering it was mass produced. However, there are some minor lines that aren't quite as filled, where you can tell the piece was put together, but it's very minor. Now this edition is a whopping $400, which is not cheap. But when you consider the items you get with it and the quality of this statue, it's priced relatively fair in my opinion. If you are a huge fan of the Destroy All Humans franchise back in 2005, this was made specifically for you. For more unboxings and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place, you're on Shack News, dot com.